Hey, Don here. Okay, now I'm back on uh, Simple Stream Recorder, and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, get off of OBS here. I mean, off of the camera view here. Let's make sure everything looks okay on Simple Stream Recorder, and then I'm making a file here. Well, you can actually you can see that, but also you can see what's going on inside of Simple Stream Recorder too. <coughs> <coughs> so. And I was talking earlier about the bit rates. Uh, I, I tried to stream at 3,000 kilobits a second, but this is what it runs at, 100 and something to uh, about 1,200 is the most I've seen it. it. It fluctuates. So I don't think simple stream recorder does a constant CBR, constant bit rate like uh, OBS try, tries to do. From what I understand, um, it tries to do constant bit rate. Um, gets as close as it can but I've got it set on 4,000 and it definitely looks better and so far so good it's it's been starting out on the yellow stream but not you know poor poor stream health but not terrible there's green yellow and red and uh, on uh, OBS and um, But then it went green and it stayed green this whole last stream. So and look, the video looks better than it's ever looked. So now I've got coffee in my nose. <clears throat> I hate that. All right, it's getting down to almost empty in my cup there. I made that at uh, about when did I make that? I forgot exactly when I got up, but it's last night. <clears throat> okay, so uh, eight or eleven or twelve or something. Okay, so I'm going to just put this on the something that doesn't use a lot of resources and um, sorry dang it come it that was paged this was paged up a little bit and so when I thought I was clicking on the top one I was clicking on the second one that has music I think I'll leave it on the desktop maybe that's a safer way to do that it just I just figured it was oh well it is using more resources because then it gets that uh, video feedback loop going so that's why I always try to click somewhere that's not making the machine work when I'm doing something in here see I'm making my video with a simple screen recorder and I'm doing my work on OBS and what I want to do is I'm going to rename this profile and then export it and I want to rename it so that this backup will stay actually they're going to be the same because whatever settings I did are going to be, um, you know, what they are, but see, the name is a previous date. So I, when I go back to it later, I want to know what the heck I'm working with. So even though that's not going to change that profile there, that's right, I forgot about that. 02, 04, giving it a date like that's not all that helpful, then, is it? Uh, but anyway, that's why, okay. That's what I'm going to do. Now, I'm going to export it. Wait, I'm going to copy that because I'm going to need it. Cancel because I'm going to make me a folder. Now I'm going to export my profile. See, you can't do that while you're recording. You have to be not be recording. That's why I'm doing it like this. Okay, and this is a profile. So that see all these different ones make me a new folder for it I've been yeah well I started giving them those long names but let's just OBS profile there we go 020419 that'll be good okay where's my, where's my what did I just do it didn't seem to make probably did it wrong <clears throat> I don't see a folder in there with any kind of name yeah I should have clicked on create uh, it doesn't look like a button does it there we go so I just hit enter what I did instead of clicking down here now I was ahead of myself now that did it so now our profile but really, that one and the one I renamed are actually going to be the exact same settings. Um, let's 
do that and then I'll go to oh yes there it is and see it'll be kind of similar but it takes the dashes out so that's the one now if I need it or anything it'll be there okay now the other thing I want to do is I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing let's look at those scene collections yeah the newest one is number eight see I was just numbering them because I caught on to that a date thing not really being accurate. But either way, it doesn't matter because this one and the next one will still be actually the same thing. Uh, so I could just leave this as it is, but I want to be extra careful that I do have the backups that I want. So I'm going to rename this one. And I'm debating about whether I want... Uh, how I want to do this I think I'm gonna do it this way I don't know yeah because as long as it can show up in the little window that's fine yeah it, it doesn't get picky about what you can have in there now I'm gonna export it wait do the same thing here let's see copy that good buddy all right, uh, export OBS. Now I have a folder for scene collections. Okay, now you don't have to put that. They don't have but one file, so you can do them like that. Now, it's got an extra long 0020419. Right, right. It put it all together. Now, for them to be uh, importable, to import them back in there, it doesn't give it its file extension, .json. you got to give it the file extension. It took me a while to figure that out. But that'll work, yeah. And it also changes things up. You notice it doesn't use parentheses. It changes everything to underscores. But uh, I'm going to leave that the way it is. I could... Well, I couldn't put dashes. It, it will change those dashes to underscores, and I think that'll just be... Wait a minute, let's see. That might read better. No, it doesn't. Okay, <clears throat> so we're going to 020419. That's about the best I can do. So that's probably the other reason why I hadn't been using dates because, see, that looks great. You can read that, and that one's fine. I'm trying to figure out, by, by the time I get done figuring it all out, it'll be a big mixed-up mess. Now, I could go ahead and rename that now, but since I don't think it would hurt anything, but I'm not going to take that chance. Um, so now I've got really two backups because those two are really going to be the same and that's what's throwing me off actually but I don't care I want to have, make darn sure I don't m miss a backup backing something up because I actually did some of my earlier backups I ended up I had forgotten I know at some point I realized that scene collections were separate from profiles but I had all these backups of profiles all you know back into 07 2018 but there was no backups of scene collections so whatever I did changing my scenes just got saved in these profiles well they don't the scenes don't get saved in the profiles just mostly settings it's still crazy because I know I imported all my scenes from um, Fedora 23 into Fedora 28 and maybe they're not on my backup drive I know that uh, I, so evidently I used one of these, probably that one, you know, old, oldest one I got. Uh, and it worked, and I got all my scenes, so I really don't know. Maybe that was when they changed to doing that, even. I don't know. Uh, but I was using uh, OBS in Fedora 23, and it was OBS Studio. It wasn't the class, older classic version. I started with it, and then I upgraded to the newer version. I think I had to install the new one and uninstall the old one because they were completely different you know software but anyway uh, <clears throat> uh, whatever happened I did not have I thought I had all these incremental backups of my scenes and I didn't each one of these just have this pretty uh, well I guess they, I don't know I went through a bunch of them and they have the machines weren't changing you know uh, until I actually made changes to the scenes anyway at some point, I figured out I needed to back up scene collections, and that was just 
and uh, 019 is when I figured it out. So started doing it. <clears throat> and I couldn't find any other scene collection backups. So I had just missed that. So don't miss that. And then these other backups, this one and this one and this one, are actually home, dawn, config, OBS. That's what they are. Whoops, that's where your configurations are stored. Your logs. Prof scenes. See, there's my scene file that I just made. And just See, when I renamed it, it just renamed it. It's only one saved in there. And all three of those files will make up your scene scene uh, well that top one is your scenes that I, you know the, like I just showed you but then that's what else makes it work inside the program for the program itself and then here are the two that I have actually it's got a one I just did 0204.19 and 0128.19 the untitled is the one that was the default that I edited and just added the desktop uh, set up to it So, <clears throat> anyway, now there's more to more to it than just one file, you know, one thing to back up. And you definitely want to back them up if you make a bunch of, you know, a bunch of things like this. Uh, and it does back up. Maybe if you back them both up, then you'll have all of your settings and all of your uh, scenes. <laughs> Oddly enough, some of some of your scene settings actually go into the settings, so it gets confusing. But none of the, from what I finally realized, none of the profile settings go into the scenes. I don't believe any do. If they do, I don't know what it would be. So anyway, now I'm backed up, and now I could turn on. The next thing I'll do, and like I said, I'm tired and getting it going in circles, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it today. I'm just gonna quit for today. I still have all those videos. Well, I may not upload them today. I may wait until tomorrow to upload them. But because uh, I also have to read what the thing is, is I'm tired. Like I usually do, I work till I'm t really tired, and then I just eat and watch some videos and then go to bed. And so um, yeah, I have to rename all these files. All of my files I've made, I've got to organize them in my head, rename them, and see, I've got OBS made videos and simple screen recorder videos. <clears throat> what I figured out to do is I put them both in a folder. I just make a temporary folder. <coughs> I actually forgot to. Videos to upload. Oh, well, it's empty now. <coughs> so what I do is I move them over <coughs> there. And then I get them in the order of oldest to newest with with this right here, which is actually just the opposite. Um, see, like this is newest on top. And just do that, and it'll put the oldest on top. And see how those are all numbered, one through nine. Well, that I put them, got them in that order, and then I use uh, multi rename here. To uh, I didn't select any, so it wouldn't work. Uh, let's just say I was going to do this right here. Then I can do multi rename. And uh, I don't know why I'm sitting there showing this. And I finally remembered this. I used to. Number sign, and automatically see a one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't want to do that right now, especially because these videos go together. You know, they're back and forth, back and forth. So I put them all. I put all the simple screen recorders, not all of them, but the ones that have already been done. Usually, I delete those because they're already on my backup drive to cut down on confusion. But since I forgot to do that, I will just work through it. Anyway, put them all into that uh, folder, rename them, and it'll, it'll get them automatically in order, one, you know, one through how, however many. And then I have to go through them. And, uh, well, usually what I try to do is uh, <clears throat> put something more than just like, well, I just now changed that. Used to, they were just numbers, you know. And so, but I try to put something in there like, what's going on, you see. But it, in order to use that multi renamer, you just have to pick something that kind of fits all of them. And then I got to go back. What I did today is go went back and after I got them on YouTube, then I realized some of these need to be changed. Like uh, when I was successful at fixing the crash, you know, and all that sort of thing. So uh, yeah, that's a lot of work too. It, I like making videos, but it can really. 
turn into a lot of work and I don't edit. I just do, I just upload, you know, I do either their live videos, whether they're streamed live or live to, you know, to the file. <laughs> and that's as much as I can handle <clears throat> and get any work done. Uh, but I like to do it. Uh, and for years and years, I, I've always loved making videos and taking pictures and stuff and mixing sound for bands and all that stuff. I love live shows. So I guess that's why I like this because it's kind of like mix, when I used to mix sound for bands. But uh, that's OBS, that's Simple Screen Recorder. So, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I like this better than editing is really tedious task for me. I used to think I wanted to do it for a living, actually, and actually did get a job once in a little place where actually people could come in and edit their own little VHS videos, and, of course, you could do it yourself, too, on your own videos, <clears throat> but... Uh, I never did get uh, get a job like it. I, I worked at a, as a master control operator at a sm small TV station in Dallas for uh, part time for a while, and I liked that a lot too. I was just live switching the TV shows, you know, and it was real basic operation. Nothing was automated, so you had to do it yourself. You can't you count one? You know, you have to count the seconds in your head and say next. <laughs> you know, you had we were using uh, actually using SVHS tape. And three-quarter inch tape. <clears throat> this was back in the early 90s. And um, I really enjoyed that. But, uh, of course, neither one of those. I was trying to break into that type of work, and I was working for nothing. I went from making I went from making 16, 16 hour at General Dynamics as a tool maker or aircraft tool maker uh, <clears throat> in Fort Worth there. Of course, I got laid off this thing. It wasn't that I just quit. I wasn't that crazy. I got laid off and they didn't call me back in 92. And so I decided, well, I'm going to break into the, I'd already been mixing sound for bands and uh, I wasn't making, uh, I wanted to try to get to making money at that sort of thing. And I ended up actually got those jobs I just talked about making $5 or $6 an hour. <coughs> <coughs> but, you know, maybe <coughs> part, one, well, the one at the TV station was part time and then, I did quit that one to do the other one because it was full time, and then it turned out it didn't work out good. It did, and it didn't. They said they wanted to make me manager of the little store, the little video editing store, and uh, I, I liked that, you know. And uh, I worked real hard at it, but uh, I guess they decided I wasn't. They did me dirty. They decided I wasn't. Uh, what they wanted instead of just telling me or giving me, you know, uh, they just brought, they hired someone else and they were, <clears throat> they were training them what they were, they didn't, I didn't work on the weekends at that place. And, uh, I, I, <clears throat> and, uh, they said that was fine. You know, I mean, I would, I told them, well, I would if they needed me to, but they didn't want, when, after they hired that guy, they didn't want me to. <laughs> and what it was, they were training them on Saturdays to be the new manager. And so then one day they said, okay, he's a new manager. And so that's one of the only time I think in my life I ever did that. I went, I was so pissed that I was, okay, it was about lunchtime. I said, I, okay, I don't need to go to lunch. I went to lunch, thought it all over, and I came back. I gathered up my, you know, I had some stuff in there, gathered up my stuff, some tapes and stuff, and, and said goodbye. <clears throat> and... <laughs> And it was a family-owned business. They had two or three of them around Dallas, and this was in Arlington. It was uh, and um, the guy that was their son, who was younger than me, and he'd been you know worked grew up with around it, I guess. And of course, we're all grown up. I mean, I was 35, 40 years old, or 45. I don't remember now. But anyway, he uh, we. We liked each other. He would. He didn't stay there all. The, he'd come in once in a while, you know. He was the only one I ever met in person. I'd never meet the mom and all that stuff, and the dad. But uh, <clears throat> so uh, that's how that's how I got out of that one. <laughs> and I had quit the TV station to, because I didn't think I could handle. At the TV station, I was working midnight to eight, and there I was working in days. You know, it was only open in the day, like eight to six or whatever, nine to six. And I just thought, well, I'll ruin my new job trying to do, I've done it before, you know, try to do too much and crash and burn. And so <clears throat> then I didn't have either, either one of them by the time after, you know, it was all said and done.
But I got, but luckily I got uh, actually a paid gig mixing sound for bands every weekend. After, not long after that, so at least I was making something. But uh, and that lasted. I don't remember how long. Uh, that lasted uh, <clears throat> summer or more, several months, and then they that place closed down. Actually, that was, a, was bringing in bands. It was a dance club, and they decided to bring in bands. It was a le- regular dance club down in downtown Fort Worth. But the guy was a Christian that owned it, and he decided he wanted to bring in Christian bands. And so that's what me and this other guy were doing. The other guy was doing the booking, and I was mixing the sound. And uh, but he was doing it. One of the reasons he was doing it, he thought it might bring you know bring in more business. And actually, Christian concerts were never made a lot of money. It was always a struggle just to keep them going, and uh, <clears throat> at least not Christian rock concerts. And uh, so. Um, it didn't, yeah, I guess it helped a little bit, but anyway, he ended up having to close the whole thing down. And actually, he just decided he didn't want to do it anymore either, you know. He didn't want to go back the way it used to be, just a regular old club, and so he decided to close it down, and <clears throat> he went into something else. But uh, I, uh, I learned a lot. I'm gonna, I learned, of course, you always learn something from experiences in life, but that was the only place I ever mixed sound where they sold alcohol. And... <clears throat> I don't, I don't, I don't drink and ever have, and I don't, uh, I don't think it was a good mix. Um, I mean, I didn't have any per- actual trouble. I actually, met some nice people, you know, and some, and of course, there were some troublemakers that came in and out of there too, and but um, that's everywhere, you know. <clears throat> but um, I like it much better uh, not mixing alcohol and Christian music myself. <clears throat> so, um, anyway, um, don't know how I got off on that. Oh, live shows, like live shows, yeah. And then I mix in another place called, before that, I mix in another place called, well, let's see, how did that go? So let's see, what, there was another place called God's Place where <clears throat> we'd, we'd ha- we did uh, every weekend, Friday and Saturday, we'd do shows. It was an old church that was like a well we could get like 1500 people in the sanctuary but some some bands you know would only bring in 25 to 50 people and some would bring in 1500 people so sometimes we'd do them in the sanctuary and sometimes we'd do them in another building outside of the big building <clears throat> and of course it struggled to pay the bills and everything <clears throat> and uh but we worked at that i don't remember was it two or three well actually we did it there for at least me they were there before me you know the place called God's Place or GPI Concerts in Arlington uh, was where the church was and then uh, actually I think it was up for sale and he was renting it the guy that was running the thing and uh, I mixed there every weekend for at least a year or two I don't remember how year, year two years I don't even know anymore and then they moved it to another place in Bedford a, a, another church a Methodist church it was a nice big nice church that had been there a long time <coughs> They wanted to get into doing that sort of thing, and so they had a big, it was a big youth room. It was like a gymnasium that was upstairs of all things. <coughs> <coughs> anyway, uh, I, <coughs> they uh, asked me to come over there and mix, but at God's place, I didn't get paid. It was volunteer, <laughs> and at, I was going to say at the gymnasium, I think I did. I get paid there. I can't remember. I think maybe they paid me when I was work doing it that at, for the same people, but at that place. Now I don't even remember. I got paid at the, uh, the place, the little club in Fort Worth. Though. So much per night, <clears throat> thirty-five dollars a night. wasn't a lot of money, <clears throat> but uh, that was a, that was the most I ever made was <laughs> five dollars an hour and, or thirty-five dollars a night. So um, it's pretty tough to get into making money at that sort of thing. <clears throat> One thing I did figure out <clears throat> was uh, if you get on at a hotel where they do conventions and stuff, of course, that's just commercial stuff that I wouldn't have enjoyed. <clears throat> you uh, you can make a, you can get a job. If you get on, you can make a job and, you know, make a living that way. A friend of mine went to Art Institute in Dallas, a place where you learn to do audio video work, and he couldn't get anybody to hire him, and I had found out about these. Uh, it was kind of logical if you just pay attention to what's going on, but I don't remember how I found out. I think I saw somebody ad in the paper. 
it's not too often they do that, but I actually went on an interview and didn't get hired at one of those hotels. And so then later he was saying, we're in, I don't know how I'm going to get a job in this. I went to school for it now. Can't get nobody to hire me. And uh, <clears throat> so uh, unless you maybe hire on with a band and, <clears throat> you know, tour, which is <clears throat> a whole nother thing, a lot of hard work. But if you're young and in good health, then uh, you could do it. And I would have done it if I'd been younger. I actually got, okay, back, stay where I'm at. <clears throat> so anyway, I told him about it, and he gets, ended up getting hired. This is back in the, I guess, the mid-'90s, <clears throat> by this time, 95 or something. He uh, he did get hired, and he's been at, w w doing that ever since, and it made a good living for him, so it was pretty cool. <clears throat> because he really was didn't know what the heck he was going to do. He have to do something different, you know, after all that. And uh, I did, you know, just... Uh, just kind of my experience kind of just fell along at the right time, you know, what I had run into. <clears throat> um, and the other thing is during those times when I was trying to get a paid job, I did get interviewed once by a Christian artist that was a contemporary artist. And I would have been like a roadie, you know, except for he wanted somebody to help with sound setup and audio video setup. And, um, uh, we, the concerts I did, you know, we didn't have, they were carrying around, back then it's CRT TV screens, you know, carrying them around, stacking them up and making video walls out of them. He wanted somebody to do that, and I, I you know, I guess he didn't think I knew enough <clears throat> to do that because he didn't hire me, but uh, <clears throat> that and I was a bit, I was older than everybody else he had too. I think he probably thought, I, I didn't know if I could handle it, but I didn't. <laughs> <clears> that I wanted to try it. <laughs> but um, anyway, I probably couldn't have, to be honest now. I just wanted to, <clears throat> but uh, I had, over the years, I had gotten to know some, you know, bands that were record on record, record labels and stuff, Christian bands, you know, and uh, <clears throat> man, there was one band. I remember their, their guys, their, their team, or us audio video team would uh, <clears throat> do things like, you know, drive all night and sleep in the truck and then wake up and then set up, you know. And I told that guy, I said, he was saying, no, we're going to have long days. You think you can handle it? And, <laughs> and I said, well, what do you mean by that? And I said, and I said do you mean, I said, so-and-so's band, they, they do this sometimes. He says, no, no, we don't do that. <laughs> but um, <clears throat> anyway, um Uh, it's a whole different thing trying to make money in uh, <clears throat> like if you're if you learn how to do something like when I was a tool maker or I was a cabinet maker if you learn how to do something you you just got to find somebody that's hiring when if you get laid off or whatever somebody and what's something like aircraft work though you may have to move to a different state which when my kids were young back in those days I didn't want to do that <clears throat> but I could have done that and worked in the same industry and made same or more money <clears throat> except for when my health kept getting worse and worse that was of course an, an, the other problem um, and that's actually the, even with what all the stuff I was talking about I'm pretty sure I could have well, for instance being a roadie I could have done that if my health hadn't have been bad um, <clears throat> there was a lot of times months at a time or, or most of a year where I couldn't work at all except for the best I could maybe do was you know, makes a show on the weekends, one or two, not you know, nights a week. <clears throat> so, uh, took everything I had physically to do it. So, uh, and that's without having to set everything up. Well, sometimes I set a lot of it up, but anyway. Um, and, but either way, it's kind of it's hard to break into. That's the way it has been, and for the last thirty years, anyway. So imagine that's kind of it's the kind of thing where a lot of people like to do it so much that. <laughs> they end up work people end up working for free or for a little or nothing. <clears throat> Only the hardest stuff is where they're willing to pay, you know, where you know, like being a roadie or something like that. <clears throat> uh, where you have to traveling can be cool but it can be really hard too, you know, so where you have to travel and people with families usually don't want to travel all the time, you know. But um I always do this when I'm tired and ready to quit. I start rambling about stuff. But uh so see what am i recording with yeah i'm recording with uh 
Simple stream recorder. Okay. <clears throat> so, well, I'm going to go now. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to work anymore. I'm going to eat and uh, rest up for bed. I like. I, I need to kind of wind down. When I've had my mind going in circles like this for hours on end, uh, I need to wind down where I can relax and have to go to sleep. <laughs> All right. Well, I'll take back up with it tomorrow. At least I'm so glad that OBS that you're looking at the window. I'm not recording with it right now, but it does work. Uh, <clears throat> it does stream again. And, of course, like I said, by going back to a previous version. Hopefully, they'll get the bug fixed in the newer version soon. So right now, they, they're not even, not anybody from, you know, when you go to the OBS forums and look for help. You don't have anybody from OBS saying, oh, yeah, we got a bug, we're working on it, or anything. Uh, so, all they do is just say, uh, it's pretty much all Windows people looking for help on there anyway, but they say, check your video drivers, you know. <clears throat> so, um but them and a lot of the people answering the questions are not representatives of OBS too. You know, it's a forum where anybody that joined you have to join it, and I've never joined it. Gonna you know post on there, so <clears throat> people are trying to help each other, and I'm sure that's good advice. Except OBS was working perfectly one day and broke the next day. So and it's it's. I know for sure, you know, it happened to me in Fedora 28. Another person was posting about it on Fedora 29, I remember. <clears throat> and then Windows, Windows, Windows. So two, diff th two different operating systems or two versions of Fedora. And then mostly I saw Windows 10. I don't, I don't remember anybody. It might have been, you know, Windows 7 or, well, maybe not all the way back to 7. But it might have been other versions of Windows. But I just remember them always saying they were running Windows 10, <clears throat> the ones I paid attention to. And... Uh, uh, when it's broke, when a uh, soft software is not working, you know something's broken in it across plat across different platforms. Then, you, you know you're gonna have to you're gonna have to look at. It's not just the default answers. Yeah, maybe that's the first thing you should check. Is your is your uh, on Windows anyway? You should check your video drivers. But in Linux, unless you went and installed the uh, proprietary drivers then everybody in you know everybody in Fedora 28 is going to have the same one everybody in Fedora 29 is going to have the same one if it's working yesterday it should work tomorrow and if it's not then it's the software not the drivers and not the uh, Fedora operating system at first I really thought it was a Fedora operating system because <clears throat> that's tip sometimes not typical but sometimes when there's an update it might break something somewhere and then pretty quickly within a few days to a couple of weeks to a month at the most, they'll they'll figure it out and fix it. And like I said, I I just kept re waiting for a call. It was about two weeks where I just thought I just kept on recording and uploading, thinking, well, they'll fix it, <clears throat> and they didn't, and, and far and haven't. I don't believe because it's only been about two or three days since I reverted back to the older version. So, <clears throat> and I haven't been back to the forums again. It could be something new in there, but probably not going to happen that quick. It doesn't look like. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and go, and uh, see you later. <laughs>